All right, what's going on everybody? This is Hayden Adams with A Designer Who Codes. I'm at fontawesome.com and I wanna implement this in a basic bootstrap project that I have set up right here. Now what I wanna do to start with is click on the get start for free and this will take me to fontawesome.com slash start. There's two ways of doing this. I can add a free kit with my email address or I can come down here and just download the entire collection. I wanna do just that. I'm gonna then turn this full screen mode off just so we're back to our HTML and to our actual files. So what I'm gonna do is come down here and click on the big download button. This will allow us to download everything. So I'm gonna download version six. I'm gonna download for the web. I'm gonna use the free for the web. If you are paying for it, you can also get the pro version, but I'm just using the free version for free for the web. Click on that. And what I get result is this folder for font awesome free 672. Now what I wanna do is I wanna bring two folders in here into my project. I've got an HTML document, a CSS file, and I'm gonna create a new folder that says font awesome. In here, I'm gonna bring in two folders. I'm gonna bring in a CSS folder. I'm gonna bring in the web fonts folder. We need these two folders. So I'll option drag on the Mac, drop them in, and what I should get now is a CSS and a web fonts folder. Now what I have to do is bring in at least two CSS files. The first one I wanna bring in is the font awesome minified version, just 57 kilobytes. And for this project, I'm just gonna focus on brands. So in font awesome, if we go into this icon collection, there's two categories of free content. There's the free section, which gives you all the icons but the brands, I guess in this case they've changed it, so it's now all the icons including the brands, or if I just want the brands, I'm gonna bring in some social media icons, so it shows you all the brands that are available through Font Awesome. So now that we have these in our project, we can then link them up inside of our document. So if we head over to HTML document, I'm gonna put it after I have got Bootstrap in this project, and I also have a custom CSS file, I'm gonna put it in between the bootstrap and the CSS file. I'm gonna say link href, and in here, I'm gonna to go to font awesome CSS, I'm looking for the font awesome minified dot CSS. I'll say rel equals style sheet, close it on up. And after that, I'm gonna link up the brands one as well. So href equals period, we're gonna font awesome, CSS and brands minified.css rel and then style sheet. Drop it in right here. Now that we have our CSS files in here, it's time to go grab a few brands. What I want to do is I'm going to search for some social media. So, first I'll do is I'll grab Instagram. On the Instagram brand, we're going to copy this copy. <laughs> I'm going to copy this copy. Sorry, I'm reading it too literally. I'm going to copy this code snippet right here. And if I drop it in, since I do have bootstrap in here, I'm gonna say div class container. And if I drop it in, if I paste it in right there, all of a sudden the Instagram icon shows up. Let's move that hello world inside that container as well. Now that we have the Instagram icon, let's actually add a div tag, actually we'll add a paragraph tag. Let's do P tag, we'll have Instagram, and then we'll drop in the Twitter icon as well for this project. So if we head back to Font Awesome, we're looking for the Twitter icon, we can either type it. So if I type Twitter, it should still be labeled as Twitter. So we have the Twitter icon and then the X Twitter icon, whichever one you want to use. I select to stick with the bird. So we'll copy the code snippet and drop it in right here. Now the great part about this is that these icons will take the design or the size of whatever the parent tag is. In this case, we've got paragraph tags, but if I drop in an H1 into this as well, watch what happens to Instagram icon. It takes the size of its parent, which in case is the H1. Now, if you wanna go even bigger within this design, you can also add a size as well. So what you can also do is inside this I class, what I can also do is say FA for font awesome and then choose a size. 
In this case, I'm going to say XL. I want this to be extra large on top of the H1. Now we can get bigger and bigger. We have 2XL. I think we have 3XL as well. Nope, just a 2XL, as large as we can go. So what you can do is you can say, I want this bigger than the default H1. Sometimes I use this, sometimes I don't. It all depends upon how big or small I want these icons to be. In this case, I'll bring it back to the H1 and then back to the paragraph tag for the Twitter. But here's how you can bring in your font awesome in an HTML CSS project.